During the quiet days of summer, producers are getting ready for fall and winter crops. And part of that preparation is education. That's why recently about 300 people attended the fifth annual Oklahoma Kansas Winter Canola Conference in Enid. It was a fairly dry Organizers discuss the 2009 crop performance and look closely at varieties and their effectiveness in each part of the state. Attendees were on hand to learn about the relatively new Oklahoma crop just in time for planting next year. Presenters answered a lot of questions from producers, so we asked three of them to tell us their biggest question and we found the experts to get them the answer. How important is it the pH level be around the 6 to 7 range instead of the 5 to 5 to 5 8 like wheat? Well, it's very important. Uh, canola, winter canola especially, likes pH is between six and seven to maximize yield potential with whatever varieties that you're planting. Typically up until a year or so ago, the lowest we would recommend on canola pH is five five. You give a little on the yields, but they, they still do rather well. We would rather have them grown at six to seven and have the grower lime the land, but a lot of times that's not feasible economically. If you've got a pH less than six, I'd suggest you go to your local seed dealer, your local agronomist or county extension agent, talk with them about there are some new varieties available that, that we would feel comfortable growing them down to. And there was a lot of little black, look more like a horn flies uh, that's covered the ground. What he's talking about is the false chinch bug, which is a occasional pest of, it, it's, a, it's a known pest of canola but it uh, typically doesn't uh, occur in huge numbers every year. We just happen to have uh, the kind of year this year where we had kind of a wet winter, early winter, and then it went into a really extended dry period. That is like perfect conditions for these things to continue to grow all winter long. From early flowering through early pod fill is kind of a critical time that if there's really large numbers of them, somewhere between 20 to 50 per head, they can cause enough yield loss to justify treating for them. Uh, some of the insecticides that are labeled and registered for control of uh, aphids uh, will also be effective on them. I've heard people grumble about not getting, being able to get a good stand. I was just wondering what techniques or I mean, tips on that. You cannot plant it like you plant winter wheat. Even though you're using the same equipment and we recommend the same equipment to plant wheat, there's some differences that you got to realize right up front to get a good stand of canola. Number one, you got to slow down. You can't plant canola at seven, eight miles an hour like you do wheat, and you don't run a sweep in, in the ground prior to the, the drill. You don't want fluffy soils. So the key is you want firm soil with mo moisture close to the surface. <laughs>